Buenos dias and welcome to the island of Vieques, Puerto Rico. Today we're in uh, Barrio Villa Borinquen, uh, visiting house that we call Casa Los Carpinteros. Before we go inside, let's take a walk uh, around the outside of the house. We're looking at about half an acre of land here. And as always, uh, if you want to see this more info on this property, uh, or any of our others, you can uh, give us a call or check out our website, PiraisoRealtyPR.com. Let's take a look inside. So this property that we're selling actually consists of two parcels uh, that make up about half an acre. We'll walk around the outside here uh, in the in the yard gorgeous flamboyan tree we're in July right now so all the flamboyans are in bloom <clears throat> see the mangoes should be ready in a couple weeks there's some other nice Caribbean flowers and vegetation throughout the property <coughs> including some bananas some of the surrounding area. I'm shooting this video in the morning and uh, what we're looking at is uh, due east. That's where the sun's gonna come up. The front of the house actually faces east. The cistern in the backyard, almond trees, uh, actually some tamarind trees as well, tamarindo. So a lot of room here for gardening, space here to add a pool. Uh, because there it is two separate parcels, you might uh, also be able to uh, build another house uh, and sell it off as well. So very quiet neighborhood. Cars pass by every so often, but in general, it's very quiet. Almost has a feeling of being in in El Campo as they say in uh, Puerto Rico. Some more bananas. Oh, here we go. Some are actually, should be ready in a, about a month. More bananas, a couple of palm trees, another almond tree. It's the side of the house, which actually has a garage space in the back. Not that you need to park it underneath, but if need be, on this first floor, you have a garage. So that could be turned to a workshop or storage area, or indeed for parking a car. This is called Los Carpinteros, and uh, gave it that name because when we came here, there was some woodpeckers, and woodpecker in, in Puerto Rican or in Spanish is carpintero. They were uh, building a nest in one of the palm trees that was right here. There was a set about four of them, and uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, that palm tree fell down, so I don't know where they are. I hope they're safe. So, all right, let's go uh, take a look inside here. Um, Los Carpinteros is a uh, multi-family unit. There's an apartment on each level, first floor and second floor. And we'll start here with the first floor, which has a uh, porch. The porch uh, has a concrete base and tile. Uh, up top is wood. So you'll see part of this house is concrete and part of it is wood. Uh, being a multi-unit, it does have two meters. So if you're looking to rent it out, that's often something that landlords look for. <clears throat> you can separate utility bills between tenants or between yourself and someone that might be renting. As we come in the front door here, and there's two front doors off that porch. It's a big open space. Uh, this can be, it's basically a combined living room, dining room. There's the front door we came in. There's a bathroom in the middle of the room, as well as the kitchen. <clears throat> there's a couple of ceiling fans. Uh, there's no air conditioning in this, in this room. The bathroom has a sink and mirror, 
some blue tile, blue toilet, and a blue shower. And it has one of the uh, inline hot water heaters right at the nozzle. The kitchen is very, very basic, uh, rudimentary. Uh, could be used, but I would imagine you want to uh, do an upgrade. But it is functional. So from the main room, it's another view here, the main room, bathroom, kitchen, walks into what could be considered two bedrooms. This is the first, notice it's all tile about, tile's about one foot by one foot, which makes this room about um, 12 feet by 12 foot. A couple of Miami windows to the outside. We're looking, uh, in this case, to the west and the north. And what's unique is this bedroom, which comes off the main room, has one next to it. This one next to it actually has a, a closet with wooden doors. A couple of windows looking uh, south. More windows, same tile, same concrete walls and ceiling. And the ceiling here is in, uh, is in great shape. What's unique here with, with these two bedrooms is that there's actually a connecting door. Uh, so if you can find a use for that, great. Otherwise, that, it might be uh, something that you can, you can close up to create two separate rooms. All right, so that's the first floor. We're looking at a two bedroom, one bath, kitchen, large open living room, dining room space. And now let's go look at the, uh, the unit upstairs. <clears throat> These units, I imagine, uh, you know, typically on Vieques for short-term rentals, folks have been getting around $100 per night per bedroom. Uh, with these units, I think because of the nature of this neighborhood still being kind of up and coming, I would suggest, I mean, and, and just the status of the uh, bathrooms and the kitchen and no AC downstairs, you're looking a little a little less than that. Uh, Perry's a realtor, we don't really handle rentals. We focus more on sales of property. So uh, this could also be long-term rentals. Um, I can't give you exact specifics on, on rates, but uh, this might, at this point, be a little bit more ideal for a uh, for long-term rentals. There's definitely demand for long-term rentals on Vieques. Two bedrooms downstairs. Okay, we're upstairs now. Upstairs balcony. Concrete balusters. Tile floor. Concrete roof. Looking out to the side. You can see the neighbors. It's a vacant lot next door. The huge, gorgeous tree there. That's where the woodpeckers used to be. So let's uh, take a peek inside of this one. The upstairs unit, as you saw, it does have a separate uh, stairs that come up, so you won't be bothering the folks downstairs. A little different layout up here. Uh, as you come in, it's kind of a uh, living room space area. On the other side would be a dining room <clears throat> dining room slash kitchen and again this kitchen right now is functional if you love 1970s lemon yellow even better the cabinetry works so like I said it's functional it's useful a lot of counter space a lot of storage uh, this makes this ideal for permanent residence or uh, a long-term rental I always love seeing stuff and houses. Who has one of those at home? <laughs> How great is this? So again, there's the living space. This door here, all right, so this door coming off the kitchen, uh, right now there's a huge step going down if you were to open it uh, because it's supposed to lead out to a deck. There's no deck there. 
So technically right now this door has no purpose, uh, but you could easily put a wood deck out there. You could do concrete, uh, be a nice little patio out there or a little deck space for uh, dining. That would be on the uh, north side of the house. So you'd get some good, uh, good shade for morning coffee. Okay, so down the middle of the house here, we have the kitchen, we have the living room as we go down the hallway in the middle of the house. On the left, we have our first bedroom. This is set up, which looks like a, probably a queen size bed. Again, the ceilings are in good shape. It's all concrete, concrete walls, floors, ceiling, tile. Everything's in good shape. I don't see any cracks. I don't see any filtration. This room also has <clears throat> closet space. So that's bedroom number one up here on the second floor. Here's bedroom number two across the hall. A little smaller, but still nice nonetheless. Probably I'd say about 10 by 10. Uh, this room does have an air conditioner. You can see the in-wall unit there. Ceiling fan concrete everything looks to be in good shape coming down the hall there is one bathroom for this floor so there's one bathroom downstairs one bathroom upstairs little sink vanity toilet shower with the glass doors all the tile looks clean no cracks concrete looks to be in good shape no cracks no filtration And as we continue further on the back porch here, it looks like they've converted this into a laundry room. There's hookups here for, looks like hookups here for washer and dryer. Uh, this back patio, which has a tile floor, looks like it has wood walls on three sides and a wood ceiling. So this was an add-on made out of wood, <clears throat> all closed in right now. And it also has a door onto the backyard. So this house is built into a hill. Let's see if I can show you this. So when you go out this second floor back entrance, you're actually at ground level. You can see also there, that's the, uh, there's a pipe running that runs up to the, uh, the cistern that was in the backyard. So again, what I've noticed during this video, is it's been very quiet. I don't think a single car has driven past. Um, it feels like we are in El Campo. I hate, I hate to use the word El Campo on Vieques because El Campo to me means like the, like the uh, up in the mountains on the farm in the middle of nowhere. But you do get that sense when you're here in Vieques. Certain neighborhoods are very quiet. And so I think it's fair to say it has that feeling of being in El Campo. So again, back to the front porch. There's your eastern view, your morning sun. The neighborhood here, um, there is, it is on an intersection here. You can see someone walking their dog. Uh, about two houses away is a uh, community basketball court. Uh, there's also the uh, mailboxes around the corner over here. Puerto Rico does have US Postal Service. So uh, it's just a matter of walking to your post office box to pick up your mail. We also have the post office in town, of course, if you need to mail something. So again, this is uh, Casa Los Carpinteros in Barrio Villaborenquen on the island of Vieques. Multi-unit, two bedrooms upstairs, one bath, two bedrooms, uh, one bath downstairs, concrete structure on about half an acre. And if you'd like to know more about this property or any of our other listings, please go to uh, www.parisorealtypr.com. You can always call me. I'm Bob, 787-900-8909.